Everything you need to know about Google Ads Keyword Planner in three minutes or less. I'm Jill Saskin Gales, a Google Ads coach, and I'm really excited to dive into one of the best free tools from Google, Keyword Planner. As long as you set up a Google Ads account, you will be able to use Keyword Planner without spending a penny on Google Ads. Simply go to Tools, Keyword Planner, use Discover New Keywords if you don't know what keywords you want to use that and want to get ideas, or you can go straight to get search volume forecasts if you already know exactly what keywords you want to use. When you go to Discover New Keywords, you can start with keywords or start with a website. If you start with keywords, you can enter up to 10 different keywords, and then Google will look at those, give you the stats on those, and then also other things people tend to search for when they search for those things. If you start with a website, you can give Google either your own website, a competitor's website, and tell it to use the whole website or just one specific page. Then Google will tell you what keywords it associates with that website or that page. You can filter your results by language and by location, and you can choose to see stats for Google and search partners or just Google. Once you see the results in Keyword Planner, look for the keywords that interest you, the average monthly searches, and then the top of page bid, low range, and high range. This tells you what kind of CPCs you might expect. It is not a guarantee. I usually like to take an average of those two to get an idea of what my CPCs might cost. Speaking of which, when you see the keyword results, what does that mean exactly? These keywords are considered exact matches. While Google does have tools to refine your keywords and organize them into items within Keyword Planner, I prefer to tap download keyword ideas and do that work myself in a spreadsheet. Do keep seasonality in mind when you're using Keyword Planner. By default, it'll show you the last 12 months, but if you are a very seasonal business, you may want to look at just November and December or just May, something that'll be more indicative of what you might expect for your business. So is it better to choose high competition keywords or low competition keywords, high volume keywords, low volume keywords? There's no one size fits all answer. What you want to think about is what you're planning to spend, what CPCs you might expect, and based on that, how many keywords you need. For example, if you see that the kind of keywords you're interested in have about $5 CPCs and you're only looking to spend $50 a day, you could probably just pick one or two relatively low volume keywords and be done. Don't forget to also make a note of negative keyword ideas when you're looking up keywords. If you operate in some kind of sensitive category, you may not be able to see all the keyword ideas you want in Keyword Planner. So if that happens, you can try using a tool like Google Trends, which won't give you exact search volume or CPCs, but will at least give you an idea of the kinds of things people search for. Within Keyword Planner, you can also build out forecasts based on the keywords you choose, but I prefer to use Performance Planner for that. All in all, Keyword Planner is an excellent free tool, whether you're working in PPC or SEO. What questions do you have about Keyword Planner?